All right, folks, this is Harris Sultan, and welcome to another episode of Sultan's House of Sin. Right. All right, so a couple of new stories. So I'm, I, I have to talk about Emmanuel Macron uh, because that son of a gun is still standing his ground. And I saw some Pakistani journalists spreading fake news that France has backed down. France is scared. Emmanuel Macron is asking for forgiveness. He hasn't done any of that. They're all quoting or, or referencing one particular interview that he did with Al Jazeera. Very clear. He didn't say any of that. He, he is pretty clear in what he said. Have a look. He actually blamed Islam. Check this out. When I talked about separatism, what does that mean? And why does that correspond to what I was describing just now? Because you have des groups que j'appelle ces extrémistes violents qui agissent au nom de l'islam et en détournant la religion, qui enseignent, expliquent dans le cadre d'associations, en utilisant toutes les libertés et les droits que la République offre, que notre pays offre. Ils enseignent qu'il ne faut pas respecter la, la France, qu'il ne faut pas respecter notre droit, qu'il faut en quelque sorte sortir de nos lois. Ils enseignent que les femmes ne sont pas légales des hommes. Ils enseignent que les petites filles ne doivent pas avoir les mêmes droits que les petits garçons. Pas chez nous, je vous le dis très clairement, pas chez nous. Nous, nous croyons dans les lumières. Et les citoyennes ont les mêmes droits que les citoyens. C'est existentiel. Et donc, jamais, 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 je n'accepterai une association, quand bien même elle le ferait au nom d'une religion, qui pousserait ses droits. En tout cas, qui dirait, une petite fille n'est pas l'équivalent d'un petit garçon. Elle n'aura pas le même enseignement. On lui donnera pas les mêmes chances parce que ça n'est pas notre droit. Les gens qui croient ça, qu'ils aillent le faire ailleurs, mais pas sur le sol français. Donc je dis, ces groupes-là qui sur notre sol veulent instaurer leurs droits, séparer une partie de la société, nous devons lutter contre eux très clairement parce qu'ils décident de se séparer. C'est pas contre les musulmans, je vous le redis, c'est contre ces extrémistes violents. So basically, it's quite clear, again, he was still being diplomatic, as diplomatic as he has always been. It's one of those things that reminded me of uh, George W. Bush after September 11, 2001, when he said, uh, he slipped out of his mouth, he said, uh, oh, it's, the, it's another crusade, uh, start of another crusade, but then he was criticized for bringing Islam into it because Afghanistan happened to be a Muslim country. Um, news flash um so he he corrected his and then he said islam is a religion of peace <laughs> and muslims are very good peaceful people blah 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 as they say and then muslims who who want to slap a fact slap ex-muslims they give us those little snippets like joe biden just quoted prophet muhammad or something really good i was like yes yeah, even biden was like every time they do that just tell them just ask them first so has biden converted to islam if he hasn't it means it's bullshit so Go away. Um, so Mehran said, again, he was still being diplomatic, and he said, there are people who have hijacked Islam. But these Muslims are saying, no, 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 we haven't hijacked Islam. This is Islam. Islam does tell us to behead people who may, who draw cartoons of Muhammad. But he's still being diplomatic. And he said, well, you know, the people who tell us women are not equal to men, they tell us they don't respect freedom of speech, they, they tell us, um, who, who, by the way, hypocritically use the freedom of speech to tell us um, that uh, we shouldn't respect France or its laws and we should have our own laws. Women are not equal to men and all the whole host of other problems that they have. So he clearly said it. So he did not ask. He didn't apologize. All he said in another snippet of the same interview, all he said was, I understand Muslims are upset, but at the end of the day, he will always support the right to criticize, write, and draw uh, caricatures or uh, um, cri uh, words critical of religions. And he also said that you have to understand there were other, just before that he said uh, that you have to understand that uh, Charlie Hebdo and other cartoonists have done the same with Jews and Christians and uh, Judaism and rabbis and priests and mullahs, so no exceptions. So he didn't he didn't back down, but Muslims now realize, okay, hang on, boycotting France. So all these all these mullahs are not are not gonna use the Louis Vuitton bags. 
<laughs> or they're not going to use the Dior perfume uh, or Chanel number, whatever that is. They're not going to be using that. So uh, that's going to hurt French economy a lot. Uh, but Emmanuel Macron is not worried by that. So um, they've started spreading false line, uh, false f fake news uh, in Pakistan that France has apologized and backing away. It hasn't happened. They're lying. I, and I've said that in my Urdu video. So people in Pakistan would know or should know or as much as I can um, get it across to them. Um, but having said that, um, two weeks after attacks on Samuel Pati, um, Erdogan actually ended up condemning the, um, the beheading of Samuel Pati. That's obviously from 27th of October. But as I said, Turkish president did end up doing it because obviously it's a very dick move if you don't condemn that. And then you say, oh, please don't make court draw cartoons. Well, what is worse, drawing cartoons or beheading people in the streets of Paris? What is worse? Seem it seems like these people don't get it. And yeah, most people don't get it. The, the, the crowd of people that I showed you before, um, the, these people don't get it. They, they think it's okay. Beheading is far less than, um, than drawing cartoons of Muhammad. So anyway, so we'll have to slap them back into the 21st century at some point, somehow. But anyway, and as I said, Turkish president still ended up doing it because he lives in somewhat moderate country. Turkey is not as extreme as Pakistan. So he, after starting the fire of boycotting, boycott France and Macron is crazy, blah, blah, blah. He ended up saying, OK, by the way, I condemn that. But Pakistan's prime minister couldn't do it, as I said, because if he did condemn the blasphemer, Samuel Pati, if he condemned his killing, then people will be beheading Imran Khan. And they'll say, well, how dare you be, how dare you condemn the killing of someone who blasphemed against our dearly beloved, very handsome prophet. So Imran Khan didn't even condemn that. What he did was when these attacks happened, he said, I condemn the attacks in France. That's all. That's all he said. Uh, he was very careful. He did. He didn't point out Samuel Pati because he was a blasphemer and can, and showing any words of sympathy for a blasphemer is blasphemy itself. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.